Hello, everyone, and welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco, and my name is Catherine. And today we have a very exciting elementary lesson for you. That's right. We are going to take our clothes to the dry cleaners. Okay, so that means we have some dirty clothes. They need to be cleaned. Let's listen to this dialogue one time, and when we come back, we'll be talking about the words and phrases that you hear in it. Thank God you are open. I have an emergency. Hello, Mr. Henderson. What can I do for you? I need this dress and this suit dry cleaned ASAP. Okay, I can have it ready by the end of the week. No, you don't understand. I need this tomorrow morning. I accidentally spilled beer all over my wife's dress, and we have a wedding to attend tomorrow. She's gonna kill me. Okay, I can have it ready tomorrow afternoon. But this suit is also very stained. I can't guarantee we can remove it completely. Fine. Can you also iron and starch this shirt? Certainly. Great. This is our secret. If you see my wife, say nothing to her about this. All right, we're back. So now there are probably a couple of words that you didn't understand. So why don't we look at those now in language takeaway? Language takeaway. Marco, you already told our listeners about one phrase、uh, to dry clean. So dry cleaned. All right. So that's when you take your clothes to a professional who doesn't only wash them. Right? You don't just put water and soap on it. They actually put some special chemicals and use special machines to get very hard to remove stains from it. Exactly, and so this is often what we use when we clean coats or fancy shirts and dresses,、right. because you don't want to clean those yourself. Right, you can't put those in the washing machine. No, so this is the dry cleaner. That's the name of the place, and the action. What they do is they dry clean clothes. Okay, very good. All right. Well, I mentioned that we take them to the dry cleaners because we want to remove stains. Okay, so a stain is a mark or some color that does not come off, does、mm -hmm. not go away. All right. So, for example,、um, sometimes you can have a wine stain. Ooh, wine stains are the worst. They're red and they never come off. Or blood stain. Or blood stain. Ooh. Right. So you can a stain is a noun, but you can also use it as an adjective. My shirt is stained. Okay, so it's stained. My pants are stained, and I can't wear them again. Again, now that's also you can also use it as a verb. I stained my pants. All right. So it's a verb, it's a noun, and an adjective, all in one. Easy to remember. Well, there's another word that's、uh, well related to、mm -hmm. this word. We spilled something. Okay, so I spilled wine, and it stained my shirt. Okay, so to spill, and that, that means that you. Took some liquid and you put it onto your clothes, or you dropped it you and dropped it made it. a mess. Okay,、right. so spill. I spilled some milk. Okay, spilled. Now it's pronounced differently from spell, right? That's right. It、spill. has spill. An, an I spilled. All right. Now our next word is also a noun and a verb. To iron. To iron means to make something flat with no lines. Okay,、mm -hmm. to smooth it out. So we use an iron <laughs> to iron. Exactly. It's so, a metal electronic object. It gets very hot. So you wash your shirts, for example, and your shirts are wrinkled because、mm -hmm. you just washed them. So you need to iron them. That's right. And so you smooth them out. You flatten them with this object, an iron. Okay. And well, usually, if you take them to the dry cleaners, they will iron them and also starch them. Okay, so to starch something means to use、uh, some powder or chemical、mm -hmm. to make something stiff or hard.、Uh, hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the the noun or the the chemical is also called starch. Exactly. So you think of a shirt with many buttons that a man wears to work.、Mm -hmm. He has a collar around his neck, and that needs to be high and tall.、Mm -hmm. It can't be flat and wrinkled.、Mm -hmm. And so a dry cleaner will use starch to make sure that this stands. Up. Okay, very good. So those are five key words for the dialogue today. Let's listen to the dialogue again, and we'll be back with Fluency Builder. Thank God you are open. I have an emergency. Hello, Mr. Henderson. What can I do for you? I need this dress and this suit dry cleaned ASAP. Okay, I can have it ready by the end of the week. No, you don't understand. 
I need this tomorrow morning. I accidentally spilled beer all over my wife's dress, and we have a wedding to attend tomorrow. She's going to kill me. Okay, I can have it ready tomorrow afternoon, but this suit is also very stained. I can't guarantee we can remove it completely. Fine. Can you also iron and starch this shirt? Certainly. Great. This is our secret. If you see my wife, say nothing to her about this. All right, we're back now, so let's take a look at Fluency Builder. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. All right, what is this phrase? Thank God. Okay, this is a, is a phrase we use in English to say that we're happy about something or that we're relieved. Okay. okay. So maybe I'm nervous that the mail isn't going to come today. And then the mail comes, and I say, oh, Thank God, the it's mail here. came. Yeah, okay. I'm happy. I was I was hoping it would come. So you're relieved. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Now, uh, is it? Uh, well, you, we are using the word there, God, but it doesn't really have a con like a religious connotation no, that much, right? Not anymore. It's, no, it's usually just a phrase. Exactly. Okay. Now, what about this acronym ASAP or ASAP? ASAP. So as soon as possible. Okay. It's an acronym. So the first letter comes from the word. It means. As soon as possible, very quickly, right away. You always hear that in, in an office setting as well. I need those papers ASAP. I need those reports ASAP. Exactly. So you can say it either way, ASAP or ASAP, and it means immediately. Okay. And he said that he needed the suit ASAP, and he said, I can have it ready by the end of the week. Okay, so that might not be fast enough for the client, mm -hmm. for the person here who has the stain, but uh, the end of the week is a very, very useful phrase because it means um, that maybe today is Monday or Tuesday. By Friday or Saturday, we'll have this ready for you. Okay. Because we think of the end of the week as Friday, maybe. Thursday, Friday. So I can say the end of the week or the end of the day. Exactly, the end of the month. Or the end of the year. Exactly. So the end of is usually um, the last the last time. So okay. um, thank goodness it's the end of the week. I'm ready for my weekend. Very good. Okay. So great phrases there as well. Let's listen to the dialogue for the last time. Thank God you are open. I have an emergency. Hello, Mr. Henderson. What can I do for you? I need this dress and this suit dry cleaned ASAP. Okay, I can have it ready by the end of the week. No, you don't understand. I need this tomorrow morning. I accidentally spilled beer all over my wife's dress, and we have a wedding to attend tomorrow. She's going to kill me. Okay, I can have it ready tomorrow afternoon, but this suit is also very stained. I can't guarantee we can remove it completely. Fine. Can you also iron and starch this shirt? Certainly. Great. This is our secret. If you see my wife, say nothing to her about this. All right, we're back. So now, dry cleaning, ironing. Are, are you good at this, or do you get a lot of your clothes dry cleaned? I'm pretty good at this, actually. I don't like to wash clothes. Mm -hmm. I get really bored with the washing <laughs> machine, but I actually really like ironing. Really? Yeah, I find it very relaxing. Really? Mm -hmm. I usually find it very frustrating. Really? Why is that? Because I I can't really iron well because I, I you know I start on one side and and I'm getting all the lines out and then the other side gets wrinkled or you know, lines appear where I don't want them to appear. It's uh, very frustrating for me. It is frustrating. It takes some practice. Uh, my suggestion is to use the, the spritzer. You know, the, in the iron, there's some water that can come out mm -hmm. sh 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 like yeah. that. Mm. Well, if you if you spray the water, it it makes the, the lines go out for longer. Ah. Right? Because if you iron over that, it's more permanent. I've also seen some sprays sometimes that you can spray your clothes with some special chemical that's yeah. not actually starch, but it helps remove the wrinkles quicker. Exactly. I, I don't use that. I use water generally, but uh, they're all available. All right. So that's all the time we have for today. If you have any questions or comments, you can visit our comment section on EnglishPod.com, and we'll see you guys there. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.